agree that this event right here on Dome is the biggest national night out for the whole entire city. So if you're on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, somebody tell them to come out to Mondarmer so we can make this one the biggest in the entire city, okay? All right. So first, I want to thank the elected officials who are out here with me. Can we give a big hand for Council President Jack Young? A big hand for Councilman Nick Mosby. A big Jerome Stevens for being here. Yeah. I want to thank our police commissioner, Anthony Bass. Yeah. I want to thank, all right, so I want to thank Officer Crown, the Western District Police CRC, for organizing another fantastic event. Can we give our police a big hand? Yeah. I want the over, all the way over there, the Neighborhood Service Unit is serving food, so I want to give a big hand for Neighborhood Service Men. I want to thank Mondam and Mall for being such a fantastic host. Who shouts at Mondam and Mall? All right. I want to thank one of our sponsors, Target. Does anybody shop at Target? This is my Target, and I'm letting all y'all know. So the next time you see me, y'all won't have your mouth dropped open. Yes, this is my Target. I'm here once a week. It's not new. I want to thank all of our neighborhood representatives. Wave your hand, neighborhood representatives. Thank you all for supporting this. All right, so I have a, one announcement for the parents and the grandparents and the aunts and uncles. Our, the mayor's back to school rally will be held in front of Mo War Memorial Plaza. So between City Hall and War Memorial, Saturday, August the 17th. Saturday, August the 17th, between 11 and 4, we are doing school supplies, immunizations, giveaways, music, fun, food. Please, come out. All right, I think I'm getting that. All right, I have, where's Officer Crown? So I have a certificate of recognition on behalf of the citizens of Baltimore. I am pleased to present this certificate to the Western District Community Relations Council in recognition of your support of National Night out in Baltimore. Neighborhoods define Baltimore and are the backbone of our city. Your commitment to hosting this anti-crime event demonstrates your devotion to giving our citizens an opportunity to take a stand against crime, maintain safer neighborhoods, and to grow Baltimore. Thank you very much, and the whole council. Thank you, each and every one of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, now what are we doing to wrap up for, sir? Everyone deserves police protection. So it's the basics, it's the fundamentals. We'll get through this rough patch, but we won't do it by um, a lesser effort. We have to put forward a greater effort. I run into citizens who care enough, who share with you that they care enough, and they're happy with what's going on in the city and the police in the partnership that we have. It's about, it's about partnerships, working together, collaborations, and making a difference. Not just talking, not just coming together with rhetoric, but making a difference and coming together as a partnership to reduce crime in this city. Welcome to the Oliver Community Center. It gives me great pride and privilege to introduce our guests because um, we have come a long ways here in Oliver. When I came here 10 years ago, it was the year of the Dawson family tragedy. In addition to other homicides, I mean, we, we were up in maybe 11, 12 homicides a year, but now we're down to few, we should have none. But today is a day that I always say, 
It's the National Night Out. And this is the night that the whole country is uh, we're telling the drug dealers we will not tolerate a homicide side tonight. We are against violence. We're going to stay against it, and we're going to get our communities out to take our streets back. But without further ado, I want to introduce or present to you um, the mayor of Baltimore City, Mayor Stephanie Rawlins Blake. And we want to thank her also for allowing us to be here because you know we are squatters in a sense. <laughs> but we're doing it for the children. Okay? Thank you very much. Good evening, everyone. I'm so uh, proud to be here with all of you. I want to thank all of the volunteers that helped make this happen. I want you to know that this is going on all over the city. We have twice as many uh, national night out events and communities participating than we did last year. Twice as many. And I want to, we can clap for that. Because what that tells me is that more communities want to partner with our police, working hand in hand to create safer communities. More want to do it every single day. And it doesn't happen by accident. They're following your example. Because the Oliver community has a strong history of working together for a safer community. We're seeing a difference. And I want to bring up uh, someone who, who doesn't need any introduction. Someone who I'm so proud, uh, out of all of the places he could be in the entire state of Maryland that celebrate National Night Out, our Lieutenant Governor Anthony Brown is here with us in Oliver. Baltimore so much we're gonna have to get we're gonna get you an apartment. <laughs> but I do want to thank him. So many of the things that we do, and it's good to see uh, Delegate Branch here. So many of the things that we do when it comes to public safety happen in partnership. And uh, Delegate Harper, you know that we, as a state partnering with the city in so many ways, so many different grants and opportunities, particularly around public safety, to make this make our uh, city a safer city. So I want to thank Anthony Brown, our Lieutenant Governor. Thank you for making Baltimore your second home. Thank you for for boosting Baltimore wherever he goes. He's talking about Baltimore as being Maryland city. So I want to thank him and turn it over to you. Thank you very much. Let's give it up for the mayor. She's doing an outstanding job. She's our partner in public service. She is our leader here in the city of Baltimore. And as Stephanie, as I like to refer to her, our mayor uh, shared with you, no matter where I go in the state, whether I'm in Oakland, in Western Maryland, or Ocean City, on the Eastern Shore, I will declare that wherever you live, wherever you work, wherever you raise your family, Baltimore City is our city. Because I believe that the future success of the state of Maryland depends on the success of Baltimore City. I believe that. And that's why I am committed to work in partnership with the mayor and with each and every one of you. I believe that strong communities are built, they're not born, and they're built on the foundation of safe neighborhoods. And Night Out, this is the 30th year that we have been recognized or celebrating Night Out. It's our night when we recommit ourselves to cooperation and partnership between the community, law enforcement, city, and state government so that we can build those strong communities on the foundation of safe neighborhoods. Let me just share this with you real, real briefly. I've had the privilege to travel the world and to travel this state. I've had the honor to visit Baltimore City on countless occasions. And what I've learned is that no matter where you find people, everybody wants the same thing for themselves and for their families. Opportunities made possible by a good education, safety and security in their home, in their neighborhood, a society that is just and a justice system that is fair. And that's what we work for every day here in Maryland. That's our commitment and my commitment to the mayor. We're all going to work together for a better Maryland and a better Baltimore City. Thank you. Thank you all very much. Oh, you have a proclamation? I'm going to step to the side. And again, I, I forgot one thing. 
the Olive community, you have a very strong uh, history. I talked about your history of partnership, but you also have a legacy of volunteerism. And I, I just want to encourage you on this night where we're recommitting ourselves to work in partnership, please continue that tradition because you are setting an example for the young people. I see some of our young people here, um, and, and we're seeing the results everywhere you look in Oliver. So thank you very much. And I'm turning it back over to the Lieutenant Governor for his proclamation. But don't go far. Come on up here, Executive Director Delegate Nina Harper. She's doing double duty, double duty, working hard for the community here in Oliver, and I want to present this governor's proclamation. Uh-oh. I know, it's a little overwhelming here. This is a State of Maryland proclamation from the governor of the State of Maryland, National Night Out, August 6, 2013, whereas the public safety is the most sacred priority of any free people. Together as one Maryland, we have achieved historic reductions in violent crime. Neighborhood watch groups have played an essential role in our ongoing efforts to keep our streets and neighborhoods safer for our communities and families. And whereas National Night Out is designed to recognize the importance of neighborhood watch groups, heightened crime and drug prevention awareness, generate support for and participation in local anti-crime programs, strengthen neighborhood spirit and a police community partnership, and send a message to criminals that neighborhoods are fighting back. Now, therefore, Martin O'Malley, governor of the state of Maryland, does hereby proclaim tonight, today, and I should add, it takes more than one night, 365 nights, but tonight, National Night Out, and does commend our citizens to join in this observance. Signed, Governor Martin O'Malley, today. Thank you. Everything's built off of relationships. And it's critically important for the communities to have a relationship with the police, with City Hall, the elected officials, um, because it's there where, where business is done. I want to thank all of you for coming out. I want to thank, and we can, can we give a big round of applause to the organizers for this event this evening. All right, the next round of applause I would love to hear is for truck four and tw truck 29 for the Baltimore City Fire Department. Can I get a big hand for them? What about for the men and women of the Baltimore City Police Department? I wanna thank every single member of the community who's been a part of making this a big success. From last year to this year, we had double the number of communities who participated in National Night Out. That's something to be proud of. That means that communities across this city understand that the only way we're gonna be safer is to do it in partnership. And I'm very proud to be here with Councilman Brandon Scott and all of you uh, to witness his reluctant acceptance of the, Ch the Chumsman Trophy for Winning or did you win legally or do we have to test you? Are you like are you like A Rod? Congratulations. Uh, the councilman and I have certificates of recognition for the people who helped put this on as well as the Oh, sorry. This is for the softball team. I got confused. The softball team. I'm going to read mine, and everyone who participated has their, you know, you'll get your, you have your own name on it, and the council going to read his. I have the City of Baltimore Certificate of Recognition on behalf of the citizens of Baltimore. I am pleased to present this certificate to the Crime Stopper softball team in recognition, we can clap, in recognition of your dedication to the Crime Stoppers program, your commitment to abolish crime in your communities demonstrates your devotion to take a stand against crime, keeping our families safe, and helping to grow our city. On behalf of the citizens of Baltimore, I wish to express my appreciation for your service and have issued this certificate. God bless you and thank you so much. All right, and we'll be quick. City of Council of Baltimore resolution. I, Brandon M. Scott, Councilman of the Second Councilmatic District, offer my sincerest congratulations to Rhino Lindsay, and of course everyone will get one, in recognition of your participation in the Northeast Crime Stoppers softball team this sixth day of August 2013. Congratulations. 
Um, we're about to wrap up, but I know it's been a long uh, day uh, for the mayor, uh, but we do have um, some unfinished business. Um, I'll be brief. Um, this we're about to present to Madam Mayor as a token of our appreciation. Um, it's a token of our appreciation for having a uh, vision. And any leader that is going to be a true leader has to have a vision. Uh, Mayor Rawlings Blake took a crazy idea from some crazy people in Northeast Baltimore and decided to fund that idea <laughs> at a Department of Public Works water treatment plant, no less. She gave us the go ahead to install not one, but two disc golf courses around beautiful Lake Montebello. That is true vision. And for that, we'd like to present her with this token of our appreciation. National Night Out is one of my favorite days of the year. It's, uh, a day where not only neighborhoods across the city, across the state, but across the country come and stand together to fight in their neighborhoods against crime. Here in Northeast Baltimore last year, we decided to have a United uh, National Night Out instead of having separate ones, so everyone come here together at Lake Montebello to show a unified Northeast Baltimore. And it's been a great success every year. This year was better than last year, and we look to build on that success next year.